Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about other FPGA boards, backing up your analog pocket to your Mr. FPGA, the Nintendo 64 core, and more. Also check out my channel sponsor Mr. Add-ons, which provides everything you could ever need for your Mr. FPGA. You can get IO boards, accessories, and full kits. Now let's get back to the news. There's another FPGA gaming device and it's called Atlas FPGA. Atlas FPGA on GitHub has developed cores for the Atlas carrier board compatible with the CYC1000 Cyclone FPGA. On Reddit, they posted videos of the project running the Amiga core, the PCXT core, the Atari 800XL core, the ZX Spectrum core, and Flappy Bird. It was shown running on a $30 Intel FPGA board, an $8 microcontroller, and a custom I.O. board. I love seeing projects like these. Not everyone needs every single console and computer ever made on their system, and using a less powerful FPGA is perfect for those who only want to concentrate on certain lower power systems. For me personally, the Mr. FPGA already implements all the consoles I care about. Any consoles past the Saturn, PlayStation, and N64 era, I would just rather use software emulation. The only interest I have for more powerful FPGA hardware would be in how capable they are with PCs from the 486 and Pentium era, and also Macs from around the same time period. If you're interested in Atlas FPGA, there are links in the Reddit post that provide a lot more info and source from GitHub. Two new FPGA boards are set to come out soon. FPGA Arcade is working on the Replay 2 board. It's powered by the Intel Agile X5 FPGA. It has 4K output. It also has a mini ITX form factor, so it should slot into regular PC cases. The standard version will have 282,000 logic elements, and the mini version will have 138,000. Prototype hardware and developer access is planned for early quarter 1, 2024. They also mentioned hybrid emulation to go along with the built-in ARM SOC from Rockchip, which is the RK588. Hybrid emulation is useful to implement some features and software that may not fit onto the FPGA, or to possibly implement mature software functions before making FPGA implementations for them. If you own an analog pocket and want an easy way to back up your save games, then Wizzle has a script just for you. Wizzle recently released a script that will back up your analog pocket saves, save states, screenshots, and settings to your Mr. FPGA. This will not make the saves compatible with Mr. FPGA cores. This is just an option to have an easy way to back up all the progress you've made with the games on your analog pocket. Before this tool can work, you must enable the USB SD card access option in the tools and developer menu on your analog pocket. This will let you plug the pocket directly to your Mr. FPGA with a USB cable. After you plug in the pocket, just run the pocket backup script from the scripts menu on the Mr. FPGA. If you have Wizzle's extensions enabled in Update All, then you will get this backup script automatically. Wizzle has a lot of great tools for the Mr. FPGA, so head on over to his GitHub to see what they all do and support Wizzle on Patreon if you find these tools useful. Pixel Cherry Ninja posted another interview. This time, it's with core developer Hotego. A lot of topics are covered from the past, present, and future, so I recommend a listen. A huge milestone has been reached with the Nintendo 64 core. It can now boot every single game in the N64 game library. Now this doesn't mean that every game works 100%, but just being able to run so many games at a high quality shows just how far this core has come along. You can read all the technical details about this milestone on Robert's Patreon. He goes over dealing with anti-piracy, the last TLB feature, and more. Wizzle has updated his game's menu script to include more consoles like the Saturn and the Nintendo 64. This script creates a new folder on the Mr. menu where you can browse and run all the games stored on your Mr. No need to open up the core. And to keep things from getting overwhelming, you have the option to choose which system you want displayed on the game's menu. Thanks to some microcontroller unit developments, some of Hotego's cores now support more versions of some arcade games. New supported game versions are Renegade US, Neketsu Kuha Kunio Kun from Japan, I know I messed that name up, newer, older, and US versions of Tokyo slash Scramble Formation, and a version of Bubble Bobble that's a prototype on Tokyo hardware. These developments can also improve on some current cores. Cores like the Fairyland Story, 
Rolling Thunder, and Kick and Run. These MCU developments will also have implications for the Neo Geo Pocket Core. Otego is going to be redesigning it from scratch with what was learned. He believes it will be faster and more enjoyable than to continue to debug the current core. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.